Okay, now we can start to install the print, print, print head on the printer. Before we install the print head, we, just, we must prepare the print head. We call TH5241 model, three print head, white color and varnish. And we must uh, prepare the screwdriver, three different kind of screwdriver, a screw for each. And we prepare the screwdriver, the short one and the long one. And also we prepare the print head cable to connect print head with the cartridge board. So after we prepare all the spare parts, we can start to install the print head. Before we install print head, we must be sure the machine is powered off. No power, no any power to the machine. Must, must power off the machine before you install the print head. Otherwise, it will be a short, the print head. So all the, so we can see here have one, two, three print head adapter board. These three adapter board all are installed already to prevent loss or missing, missing during delivery. So once we, once we get it, we need to take it out. We find out the long screwdriver and we fasten, loosen the screw of the print head adapter board. And please be careful, the top of the screw driver will not damage the cable or tuber. Just be careful. Before we remove the adapter board, we can see the adapter board is at the middle of the position at X and Y, horizontal and vertical. So when we install back the print head, we also must be sure this adapter board is at the middle of the board. Okay, so after we loosen all the four screw of the bad board, we can take out the board. So from the board, we must pay attention that the front screw is at the left, and the small screw is at the right. If we install by this way, then it's wrong, wrong position, must be this way. And also there have two force glue to lock, we need to loosen it. And also we have the backup screw on the package.
we take it out, remove the screw for install print head like this. So after we remove the screw for each adapter board, then we can start to install print head. So first we open the brand new the recall print head package. Be careful, don't damage the printer. Printer. We take out print head. Be careful, carefully. Then we can see the brand new print head package as this. So remove the cover. So remove the cover and take out print head. So we open the package and we take out print head carefully. And here is the plastic. Here is the plastic cover to protect print head. This is a print surface. Do not touch the surface by your finger or any hard material. Before we install, we must put the bike. Then we install the print head cable first. Here have two print head cable port. We take it out. The rubber. We remove two of them. So then we find out the Small print head cable is more is smaller. They have two print head cable for installed print head. Bigger one and small one. The bigger one is installed on the <coughs> top. The small one is installed on the bottom of the print head. <coughs> so first we install the small one. We put the print head cable go through the rubber like this. It's, this rubber is for protect the ink go through to the print head. And we can see the pin is at downside, so we must install print head by this way. We up this print surface, this print head, the ink toward and we put the print head cable flat and then plug inside. Be careful to not damage the pin. And the master flight. And also the pin will not, must be sure the pin is not damaged before you plug in. After that, we install back the fast ring. Then we install the bigger one. Also, we need to find the brand new head cable. Be sure all the pin is all the pin is not damaged, it's flat and not scratched no dirty, no liquid. Then we also use a cable to go through the rubber. And we install on the 
top of the port here, and we put print head by this way. And install back the cable. Make sure it's flat, no damage. If the cable is damaged, then you need to change a new one. Then we install the bigger one, big print head cable. We also find the rubber and make the flight, the cable go through to the rubber. And then we install the cable to the port. It's flat, no damage, the pin and the flat. Then we install back the rubber ring. Like this. So the cable is connect where? Okay, so after that, we put the print head toward like this and we take out the top cover. Be careful not damage the print head surface. Take out the cover. Then we find out the adapter board. Please be careful. We must uh, install print head like this. So we can see the two screw at front and the two screw at back side. Then we use this short screwdriver First we install the right screw Make the screw flat, then fasten it. First, do not fasten too much, just a little bit. Then, we cannot install this one right now. We must uh, install the angle way, this one first. So, we find another bigger, with bigger cap. This screw with bigger cap. This small cap, this bigger cap. We find a bigger cap screw, go this position. At the left. Also not too tighten, a little bit. Then we find a small cap screw to install on the back side red partition.
not too tighten, a little bit. Then we find the big cap screw, and we install on the front left. So the procedure is one, two, step one, step two, step three, step four. That means we install print head by the close way, by the close way. Then we fasten, first fasten this one, not too tighten. Otherwise, otherwise we are easy to damage print head. Then we lock, lock, fasten this one, and then this one, and then this one, by the close way. After we install wear the print head with the adapter board, then we install back the print head to the adapter board. Before we install it, we put the screw for each hole. This hole is bigger than the screw. It's used for we do the calibration for vertical and the horizontal to have enough space. Okay, so after we put four screw, then we put the print head to the adapter position. And we lock the screw. We use the long screwdriver to lock it. Please, if you think it's very hard to lock the screw, then maybe you close, you're missing the, the street. So you need to remove out and lock again. So first we lock this screw, then we go to lock the close position. We must be sure, adjust to be sure the print head is at the left, at the vertical and horizontal middle of the hole. Then we install this one. And then we fasten the last one. And the Right now, we don't need to fasten too much because later we need to do the calibration of the print head position. Then, after we lock it, we just uh, make it a little bit fasten for each, also by angle way, by the angle way, to lock a little bit fasten. So after we make sure it's faster, not shaking, then we connect the print head cable. This step is very important because if you connect the wrong print head cable, if, if it will easy to short the print head and short the electricity system. Before we connect the print head cable to the print board, we must be sure it is no power. The machine is power off. So first. We find out these two cable. We named this one is up, down. When we go to the top of the carriage, we can see there are four ports of the print head port.
Okay, so when we open the cover of the carriage, we can see there are, this is the carriage board. There are one, two, three, four ports for four print head configuration. So this one is empty. One, two is empty right now. If you install with three print head, so we keep this one is empty. And at the left bottom, these two is for connect the color print head. It's go to the back side, this port, this print head. And when we go to the right side of the carriage board, one, two, these two cable is to connect with the first print head, white print head, white color varnish. So this white print head connects to the right bottom side to cable. And the right top to cable is for connect to the last varnish print head to cable. And when we enlarge the picture, the, the port, we can see each port have one short, one bigger plug. So also the cable from the print head have two ports. Short, uh, one small and bigger. So connect the same position by small and bigger. So let's say this one, the first one is the white print head, white color varnish. So we take white print head for example. The white print head have two cable, top, bottom, and the top. So first we install the bottom print head. The, the, the bottom print head is this one, bottom. Bottom print head cable. We go through from the back side. And we connect to this port. Color white varnish. Again, two color for color, two for white, two for varnish. These two empty. And this is short, this is a small one. So we, the pin is go to back side. We connect by this way. And also we check the pin, be sure it's no damage, it's flight, clean without scratch or dirty. Then we put connect to the carriage board. And then we install the top print head cable. This is the top for the wet print head. And then also we go through by the same position from the carriage. And also check the pin before we connect. And the pin go to back side. If the pin is broken, you need to change a new print head cable. If the, key, if the pin is get dirty, you need to use the eraser to wipe her. Wipe, make it clean. We must make sure the cable is connect where. Must make sure it's flight no damage, all the pins are connect wear. like this, and then put a little bit back to the bottom, because add later we need to make the cover on the top. So this is for the connection procedure for the wet print head. And also we install the color and varnish print head by the same way. So 
The number two print head is for color print head. We install on this port. And voltage print head we install on this port. And we keep these two empty. OK, so we start to install the color print head. We also installed the print head by the same way. Then we first connect the bottom cable. And also we by the same way to go through from the back side of the sub-ink tank. So this is the bottom cable. And we go to this port, the first one, is for color print head. And the top cable for color print head. Be sure Pay attention to that the cable will not damage the tubal inside. And this is for connect to this port. The right, the left, the left button. The pin goes to back side. And also make sure it's flat. No damage to the pin. Like this. So this two is for color print head. Then we install the one inch print head. First, also bottom, bottom cable. We go from the back side of the tank. We go to this port, the red top, first one. Then we go to the bottom of the, the top of the voltage print head cable, this cable. Make sure it's flat, the cable is not damaged. Then we go to the red top number two. And push back a little bit. OK, so this cable all connect where? Color, white, varnish. At the bottom is white, color, varnish. And then we put the tubo, connect tubo for each port, like this. One, divide to two, connect to these two ports, the plug on the print head. And the wet sub ink tank number two also go to the red two plug. So these two cable is for wet in tank and this one is for black connect to the port black and this one is for cyan and this one is for this one is for magenta some from the print head is black 
sin magenta yellow so k c m y k c m y like this and the last two is two channel divide to four connect to the varnish print head like this so we connect the ink tuber for each make sure it's not loosened it's fastened for each and also then we check all the top flush end is close make sure it's close without loosen also if a bottom half must close some ink tubers some ink tank have two channel some ink tank have one channel that's dependent on your configuration of your print head so if you have one print head for color if you have only one print head for color print head so you will have only one switch one channel for ink, ink channel for KCMY for each so if you have two print head configuration for color print head so you will have two channels for each color ink tank so we install check the block the clip is closed and also all the clip is closed not loosened and the other switch must go to this position go to the down position the switch go to down position like this so then we find out the range especially for the the metal ink tank so now let me introduce the three-way value for what they're using the value if you put by this way the toward to down position means off is switch off that means there were no ink no ink go to the tuber no ink go to the print head it's closed the tuber is closed if you adjust the switch by this way flat go to the right side if you go to the right side that means the ink will go through from the ink tank to the tuber then go to print head it's for open to go through so go right is for open go down is for close and if you go to upward go up that means the ink will go through from here then go through the value then go to the tuber then go to print head so by this way we can open the block and we can use the injection to flush or do some cleaning procedure but we do not recommend you to do the head cleaning by this way especially for your print head it gets heavy clock so this is for maintenance for heavy cleaning for heavy cleaning for heavy clock and or sometimes it's used for change the ink to flush the ink from the tuber to print head and when we go the left left side by this way that means the ink will go through from here then go through the ink tuber then go to the ink tank so by this way we can pull ink out from the ink tank to the injection to pull it out and by this way also there's no ink go to the print head so this method by this way is used for clean the ink tank or change the ink but also before you change the ink you need to take out all the ink remove all the ink from the ink tank at the bottom of the machine so in one word but this way is for change the ink it's changed exchange the ink but this way is for clean the print head and by this way is for normal printing
normal printing. And but this way, it's for close. And the close is used for you are not using the machine and to prevent well, every day before, every day after you print, you need to close like this way to prevent the ink dropping down to the flash to waste the ink for safety. Okay, so this is the value instruction and also print head cable, print head tuber connection. Thank you.